What the heck? Uh, I fixed up Papa Jim's old machete and he let me keep it. Um, this isn't the machete I was making in the last video. It's an all brand new machete. It was rusty. Uh, if I have a picture of what it used to look like, I'll put it up like now. But uh, now it's beautiful. Uh, so there's right there. Yeah, cocaine for my breakfast. Hold that pistol. Yeah, with this risk. Wow. See, it's disgusting. It's rusty. It's it's literally made of rust. Like that's how rusty it is. So this thing, uh, Papa Jim had, it, I think. And uh, since I did such a good job at restoring the last machete that he gave me, it's a beautiful machete now. It was it was disgusting. Um, I'm gonna restore this one. I've also got a. Uh, Another lawnmower blade. I want to take a uh, stab at that one right now. I'll start with this. So, great. Oh, what? My table, my table, my table, my table. I can't work in this environment. I went to the store and I bought this because it's magic uh, metal healing juice. There we go. This lawnmower blade is um, significantly more crappy and smaller than the last one. So I won't make a machete out of this one. I'll probably make it into like a, a really bad knife. But it's, uh, it's also disgusting, dirty, rusty. It goes in the vinegar bath with the, with the bayonet. Got, there needs to be salt mixed in with the vinegar. I already went inside and then I saw the salt and I remembered, oh yeah, that needs to be in the vinegar or else it won't work. So I'm just gonna, real quick. Rust, it should. Okay, that's enough salt. Perfect, perfect. Bueno, senor. So as you can see here, the rust is just falling off the metal. Uh, it has, the vinegar has kind of eaten it up. Um, it is time for me to take these inside and start scrubbing on them with brushes and with steel wool. So this water is what we call bad juju, okay? As, as I'm sure anyone in the blade making industry knows, you gotta dump that bad juju and uh, the sword is still kind of black and nasty, but uh, we're going to get it done. We're going to fix it. Oh, that lawnmower blade looks so much cleaner. Remember how it looked yesterday? That was disgusting. Look at that crap. Look at that. Most of it's fallen off. That's awesome. My hands smell like vinegar. But this thing, ooh, this thing's going to be nice. Burn that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Okay, I gotta scrub this. This is awful. Okay. <laughs> I've stacked my phone on top of uh, some U.S. history books, which is ironic as I clean this piece of U.F. U.S. history. That's all coming off. Steel wool. The rust has been broken down by the vinegar. Oh my gosh, look! It's already shiny! And now you just need to scrub away the black crap. The sink is all black. And and it, it that's amazing. I'm so happy at how well this is up. Grab my phone and video this. Look.
So, see that? You're, you're holding it wrong. Thank you. See that? So see how rusty and gross it is? Watch this, get, make sure you get this. Hold on. Like it smells like vinegar. Bad. It smells like rust breaking away, dying and falling off. Do you see the black coming off of it? That's beautiful. You know, if someone were to ask what is the most irresponsible thing you can do while riding a four wheeler, um, holding your bayonet and homemade machete uh, might be one of the things like pretty high up on the list. Papa Jim just pointed out that it says 1917 on it, that this thing is authentic. You, are finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? This is the end of the video. I'm glad I prefaced 
showing off this lawnmower blade by saying that it's going to be a very crappy knife because it is indeed a very crappy knife. The metal is not made to be a knife. It's too thick. So I'm going to take my best shot. This is my knife. <laughs> I took a long video and my phone just deleted the video. So I was talking to a camera while I was tracing this knife, but that's what the knife is going to look like. Handle like longer than the actual blade, but that's what I'm working with on this crappy thing. Um, it's not going to be a good knife. It's too thick. I already said all this to the camera, so I'm just saying it again. Here's my machete update. I'm going to make the handle paracord. Um, I don't know if I got this in the last video, but shout out to Clay Russell for talking to me about blades and how cool he is at making stuff. That's all. Goodbye. I'm going to kill Navi with the machete now. No, man.